Finally, the sun's come out. Okie dokie, so we have a smoothie just about to happen here. We've got dates, we've got about 20 medjool dates, they're quite big ones. We've got two apples, really nice sweet organic apples, like honey apples. We've got some coconut sugar, you know, a couple of tablespoons. You can just adjust it depending on what taste you like. And we've got some mixed spices. So these mixed spices are coriander seed, cinnamon, ginger, cumin seed, nutmeg and cloves. And they're organic. So we're going to put that all in a blender and blend it up. Okay, so we've got everybody in the pool. We've got the apples, we've got the coconut sugar, we've got the dates, we've got the warming spices, and we've got about 1.7 liters of water, quarts of water. And I'm going to leave these dates to soak for a little bit because it just blends nice and creamy. This is so much more creamy when they are soaked for a while. And I'm going to come back soon and blend it up. Okay, so I've left it to marinate for about an hour. Let's blend it up. Oops, we need to switch it on. We need to plug it in. Okay, so we have apple pie in the glass. That's what I call it. All blended up. Let's put it in. Oops. Let's have a taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The best. Really, really good. So it's time for a little bit of sun baking. Hey, Figby. Just a little bit of sun baking. What are you doing? So I put this photo up on Facebook the other day and I'm looking particularly lean as you can see there and it freaks some people out. It's just, it's interesting to see people's reaction to a lean, fit, healthy body. Unfortunately in the society it's becoming more and more rare to see lean people. You know, people freak out when they see someone who has like a mega flat stomach like I do myself. And it just gives us an insight into where society is at, where overweight is actually considered normal. And you might be like, oh, really? You look disgustingly skinny. You look anorexic. Ugh. You know, I'm happy to compare notes with you. I'm happy to compare fitness levels. I'm happy to compare blood tests. So bring them. Come at me, okay? Because I got my blood tests up. I know I'm healthy. I feel amazing. I've transformed. So the proof really is in the banana pudding. And I always find it funny and super hypocritical when overweight people come to my photo and they're like, oh, you're a bag of bones, you're disgusting, you're ill, men like curves, you're gross. Imagine I actually turn the table on them and I said, oh, you know, you're so fat, you're disgusting, you're eating too much, you've got rolls of fat, I can't see any definition, you are so unhealthy and full of disease. Imagine I said that. Oh, the uproar. So some serious double standards at play here. And of course I'd never say those things because I'm here to educate people. There's a big difference between, you know, insulting people and trying to bring them down and actually speaking up because you care and you want to educate and help them feel as good as you do. Okie dokie, I'm about to blend up this yummy smoothie. It's got bananas, it's got dates, some coconut sugar. We've also got some cinnamon drops in there and it just adds this extra depth of flavor to the smoothie. It's really, really yummy. So let's blend it up. Okay, hey, here we have the smoothie, gonna get into it. I love those chunks of dates in there. They're extra yummy and chewy. Okay, so we're off to Princess Neat's place. See you soon. Are you living the daydream yet? Are you living the daydream? Are you living the daydream now? You say you have a shaken faith. Cry and cover up your face. I don't want to watch you die So listen up and start to fly Okay, so we're nearly at Princess Neat's place, and I just want to give you an insight into a fame whore's thoughts. Okay, I'm a self-confessed fame whore. I am. And I've been called a fame whore by Trisha in one of her videos and by various other people over the years, and I 100% agree. I'm like the biggest fame whore around, and I am proud of that fact. If I have to whore myself out for this cause, then I'm going to do it. For a good cause, 
then heck yes, I am going to do that because I actually give a shit. You know, I care. I care about seeing people healthy, seeing people survive, seeing animals survive, seeing this planet thrive. We are only on this planet for a short period of time. In the scheme of things, it's a very, very short period of time and it is fleeting. And that might sound cliche or whatever, but it is true. Before you know it, you're checking off the planet. So while you're here, make a positive impact. Stand up for something that actually matters in this world. So I'm asking for all fame whores to unite. If you're a fame whore, if you have aspirations of being a fame whore, then unite and spread a positive message. Spread this message. Help save other people. Help save animals. Help save this planet. We need you. So fame whores, unite! All right, so I am going to see you soon for a big feast at Princess Neats. And by the way, stand up for something worthwhile or sit the fuck back down. Hello, Hello Princess. Princess has been slaving over a hot oven all day. Oh my God, look at these amazing creations. That looks beautiful. What do you call this? That's the humble pie. Humble pie. You can eat humble pie. Yeah. And, and this is a variation on the rice boats. Oh, I've done yeah. it with potato and slightly changed the sauce. Very nice. So and no rice, no rice, just potato. Potato yeah. and parsnip. Um, and this is sweet corn and pumpkin soup. Oh, beautiful. So I got a three course meal tonight. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, look at that creamy goodness. Wow, well, that looks really nice, isn't it? The yeah. creaminess. I'm not, just not sure how it's going to come out. Wow. And folks, that's without any sort of like cream or butter or anything, like no cruelty food in there. Can be healthy, mate. Potato. Yeah. Okay. What's a potato? Can you do it, babe? It's so much fun, more fun putting an A on the end of potato. 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 Yeah. Everything should have an like A. Like hillbillies. A or an I. A or an I. Yeah. Ah, like I. Potato. Potato. Or, you know how we put an E on the end of everything? Aussies do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do tend to do that. Oh, you got a better shovel. Potato, potato, potato. Potato. They're red, they're That's white, the they're brown, thing. they got the way underground. <laughs> there can't be much to do. Now they have blue ones too. I, they don't, I, I don't care what they look like. I'll eat them. I don't know what they look like. I don't care what they look like. I'll eat them. Okay, so we have finished dinner and that was amazing. And that's all in here. <laughs> that's where it is, <laughs> folks. Look at the Hang on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Digestion dance. That was a digestion dance. It's it going to be going all night. <laughs> sounds nice and hollow. I love it. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of volume in there. Oh, look at that. You can yeah. see your uh, little tummy tuck oh, scar. Yeah, that's where I had a tummy tuck, folks. <laughs> no, that's oh, just my please. elastic. It matches the elastic. What are the chances? Oh my god, can you believe it? That was a beautiful dinner, princess. It was epic. It was amazing. Sensational. Yeah. Where's Nigel's face? Three. You're in the dark yeah, again. Yeah, there. Yeah, <laughs> Three courses of bliss. Three courses of bliss, yeah, I agree. Five hours of sweating away in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to Nate's hard and hard work. That was, yeah, you put in so much effort in there. That was amazing. But raw, raw to four four. keeps me energized. Yeah, certainly does. And, yeah. we, and we get to benefit, <laughs> don't we, Nigel? <laughs> yeah. Cheeky monkey. I do my share in the kitchen. Yeah, Nigel does. Nigel's a good cook. He's a damn good cook. Wow. Both, uh, we both put in an effort. Yeah. Yeah. And some, uh, of, very uh, thankful. some of Mav's uh, recipes will be in the book as well. Yeah, oh, the yeah. Raw Till 4 book, folks. Yeah. Yes. So stay tuned. If we yes. get a chance, I'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll do videos on them. We'll do videos on me doing raps. That'll be good. Yeah, not, don't, not don't you think Nigel should start his own yeah, YouTube yeah. channel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get him on there. I'll, be, I'll do my truckers <laughs> channel. That'll, work. that'll get things rolling. Yeah, we'll be waiting for I that. Can, I can say some stuff that I need to say in that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we definitely need you on YouTube. Need you both on YouTube where you are now, anyway. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> no figs, you're getting a bit of a massage there. Yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah, uh, the life. life of an Italian greyhound. Absolutely. Oh. You're a lucky little girl. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, don't forget to go. Fruit yourself. <laughs> oh, root <right> yourself. Yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow, Bye. Fruit Bats.